Hey everyone, Julian here and welcome to part two of the Learning Python series. In this video, we're going to be creating a Python file and we're going to be running a Python file. You're going to be creating your very first Python script. So what makes a Python file? Well, it's the extension at the end of the file. And the extension that Python files use is .py. So just like an HTML file uses .html or a CSS file uses .css or a text file uses .txt. Python uses the .py extension, which is what makes it a Python file. And we put all of our code in a Python file, and then we run that file, which creates the program. So let's go ahead and jump into the example here. So here I am at the desktop. First thing I'm gonna do is fire up our commander, so our terminal here. Again, if you're not using this tool, don't worry, just either use the Windows command prompt or the terminal if you're using Mac or Linux. So you'll see here we are in the C drive slash users slash Julia. For some reason, Windows decided to chop off the N on my name. Anyway, let's move on. So if we run the ls command, that will list out all the contents of the current directory. So you can see here, let's go into our desktop. So I'm going to CD, DESK, and then I'm gonna hit tab to autocomplete. Hit return, let's clear that, Just ls, and you can see here, we don't have any other files apart from this INI file, but you can ignore that for now. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new directory on our desktop, and we're gonna be using that directory going forward throughout this series. So to create a directory, we do mkdir space, followed by the name of the directory that we want to create. So I'm gonna call it learning Python. So learning underscore Python. Go ahead, now if we run ls, we can see here we get this directory. And you can tell it's a different color and it's got this trailing forward slash, which means it's a directory. So let's move into that directory with CD and LE and we can hit tab to complete that. And if, if we try to do tab completion on something that doesn't exist, it just won't do anything. So if we try and do hello and try and tab complete, we get nothing because that file or directory doesn't exist. So learning Python, hit tab, ls we've got nothing in there so let's go ahead and create our first file so we create files with the touch command and these commands are the uh, sort of linux commands and they're not going to work if you're using the windows command prompt so that's just something to note so we're going to go ahead and touch followed by a space then followed by the name of the file that we want to create so i'm going to call it main.py but you can name your Python files anything you like as long as you use the .py file extension. So let's go ahead and create that file, hit return. And if we run ls, we can see we've got main.py. So let's go ahead and open this file and add some Python code. So I'm gonna right click on learning Python on our directory here, open with code. Let's go ahead and make this a bit bigger. So you can see here in our file explorer, let's close that welcome. In our file explorer, we've got main.py. Go ahead and open that and I'll close this for now. So this isn't gonna be a tutorial on any Python code itself. It's more just how to create files and how to run them. But let's go ahead and throw in some Python code anyway. So let's create a variable. Now a variable is just a placeholder or a way to store information. And you can name variables, anything you like. I'm gonna call it my name, and then we'll use equals, and then we'll assign the variable a value. And I'm gonna give it my name here as a string. And don't worry, variables, strings, we're gonna cover them all in following episodes. So don't worry too much about what we're actually writing here. The next thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and print with a set of open and close parentheses. Now print is a function, it's one of the standard functions that comes with Python. And what it allows us to do is pass things in and print them out to our terminal. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pass in the my name variable. So we're gonna print my name to the screen. And my name happens to be assigned the value of Julian. But feel free to make that your own name. So to save the file, control S, and then come back to the terminal and now what we can do is actually run that Python file. But the first thing I want to do is do Python dash uppercase V, hit return. And you can see here we get Python 3.7.2. 
Now the dot, uh, the dash V here just gives us the version of Python. And you can see here we're at Python version 3.7.2. If, you, if you're not getting this message, or if you don't have Python installed, then I do have a video on installing Python. So I will throw up a card or a link in the description to go so you can go ahead and install Python if you need to. So let's finally actually run our Python file. To do so, we use the Python command, followed by the name of the Python file that we want to run. So ours was called main.py, and then we just go ahead and hit return. And you can see here, we get a message printed out to the screen, and that message is Julian. And that's because we've created a variable here, given it the value of Julian, and then passed it to the print function, which has then printed it out to our terminal. However, that's a little bit boring, so let's just make it a little more exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the my name variable from the print function, and then I'm gonna pass in a string. And then just before that string, so a string in Python is characterized by having, uh, in, you know, something enclosed in quotes here. So we're going to learn more about strings and variables in the next couple of episodes. So don't worry about too much again about what we're doing now. But what I'm going to do is just in front of the first quotation here is put an F. And what the F does, it allows us to pass variables into a string. So we'll do my name is and then we're gonna do a set of curly braces here inside of our string. And then inside those curly braces, we're gonna do my name. So we're passing in the my name variable into this string and then printing it out. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. So again, Python followed by the name of the file, main.py, and I use tab completion there because the file exists. And go ahead and hit return. And there we go, my name is Julian. So guys, that is all I wanted to show you in this video. It's how to create and run Python files. Now, of course, this isn't very advanced. This is not an advanced script. This is very, very basic, but we are taking baby steps throughout this series. So I hope you found it useful. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, do leave them in the comment section below. Feel free to subscribe. We've got plenty more videos in this series coming soon. So. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.